Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. As you might have seen in, some of, in our previous video, we introduced you all to the Uniwix X100 Defender battery. It's a deep cycle lithium iron phosphate battery. Uh, this thing is pretty awesome. We had a chance to play with it a little bit. We're gonna do another test for you today. Um, we did the capacity test before and all that. It, it blew that out of the water, that was great. Uh, what we're gonna do now is try to run our uh, 12 volt compressor fridge off of this battery, just hooking it up through the cigarette lighter kind of power outlet thing. Just plug that in and see how long we can get out of it. I think we're gonna at least get a few days out of it. Now this is the SJ50 uh, compressor fridge. It's 53 quarts. Um, it does either fridge or freezer. We're just gonna do a fridge side for now, fill it with a bunch of drinks and see how long this battery will run this cooler. Uh, uh, just like a real world test, we're gonna go in and out of it periodically getting drinks out pretending like you know we're dry camping or boondocking somewhere or the power went out and we're running everything off of this and just to get an idea how long we can get running one of these off this battery uh it's good information to know in case the power goes out and you need to run it for a while or you got it in your van or rv and you need to know when to charge your batteries or start your car or whatever this would be some information to know so with that being said let's get this uh let's get this all plugged in we'll fill it with this with drinks and then we'll set it and forget it until it shuts off. So let's go do that. All right, to start our test, we'll plug this in. That's gonna turn on our compressor cooler. And over here, you can see we are on max. Um, and we're gonna set it down to 37 degrees. That's a pretty good cold temp for your drinks, whatever drinks you might fill it with. Um, you could also put it to eco. Well, actually, let's put it to eco. I think that'd be nice. And we're going to put it to eco because that'll be the best setting for it as long as it keeps that temp and we'll see how long it'll run for so let's fill this up with a bunch of drinks take a look inside of this you can see in here you got this section here with the basket that lifts out this is what we're going to put all our drinks in for the most part and you got this small section here which doesn't get as cold but it is a section you could put some stuff like butter or something like that you don't want to get that cold so let's get our drinks and fill this up all right, we're gonna fill it up with some Yoohoo, some tea, some vitamin water. This is just stuff we had laying around here. You can fill it up with uh, the beverage of your choice. So let's get this opened up. I'm just gonna pop this open and just pour it in there. Just like you would do if you were dry camping. Boom. Those are in there. Open up these teas. Come check this out. See how much room's in this one? It's 53 quart. It holds quite a bit. We've had this for about eight months. It's a. We did a video on it. If you guys were willing to check it out, it's. Uh, it was under 300 bucks at the time. And uh, for being a compressor bridge under 300, pretty awesome. And like I said, we've had it eight months, and we've ran it for a month at a time without any issue so there you go that's a good start with drinks we're gonna now we're gonna close that it's still at 53 right now which means it's cooling down to the temp it's gonna get to 37 and now we're just watching it it's running off our defender battery as you can see back here there's no other plugs just the 12 volt plug no other plug anywhere this is just an adapter we bought off or Amazon and hooked it up to the battery and just plug this in so all set so we'll keep we'll keep checking this periodically we'll go in and out of it get drinks once in a while maybe put something else in it you never know and then see how long we get out of it with this battery so stay tuned for that all right guys i thought this was a perfect time to show you uh where it's at right now it is at uh, if you guys can see that 46 degrees it's still it's still dropping um perfect time to record it because the we're having a bad thunderstorm the power went out we're in the rv this is where we're doing the test in the RV. Power just went out, so this is a good reason to know this setup, how long it'll run on a battery, in case your power did come out or go out and didn't come on for days. So, perfect thing. Open it up here. You guys can see. Chilling it. Doing good, so we'll come back a few. All right, here we are again. This is day two. You guys can see that it's still where it's supposed to be. It has a 
a temp range it does. We've been in and out of here a handful of times. We're going in right now to get a couple drinks. Oh yeah, nice Boom. and cold. There we go. We'll see. It's still going strong, so we'll give it some more time to check back in. All right, we're halfway through day two. We're going to check the battery voltage right now. Can you move that? We have 13.23 volts still, so awesome, still strong. We should no problem get three days out of this. So, all right, we'll wait. Check it again later. All right, guys, we are on day three, still running great, still at 13.15 volts. So, and we're on day three. So this shuts off at 10.6 or 10.8. The uh, battery will has the shut off. So, it's still going strong. We're going in here to get another beverage. We've been opening it throughout the day like normal. So day three, going on to the next one. All right, guys, we are out here day four. You can see we're getting ready to check the voltage on the battery. It's been running four days. Drinks are awesomely cold. Still 13.3 volts. This thing might go a week. We're already on four. I guesstimated three. We're way over that. So this is awesome. We're going to pop in here, get a cold drink, and then we're going to uh, go another day, see what happens. Day five, guys. We are here at day five. Still holding within its range temperature-wise. I'm going to try to do this one-handed here. Check this down, or this voltage. Oh, we're going to have to do it down here. My helper's not here today, so. Battery is still at 13 volts. And we're day five of this running constant just off this battery. So it's pretty amazing. Let's we'll see if it'll go more. All right, day six of testing with the cooler and the battery. Can you show me the voltage? Still at a whopping 12.8 volts. So man, this is probably still gonna go for a few days. So we'll see where it takes us. All right, guys, seven days in. We finally got a code here just a few minutes ago. E1, which is a protection code for this thing because this compressor cooler also has battery protection built in and it's on its highest setting. There's three settings for this. So our battery's still at 11.8788. So this this battery would still run this if I, if I adjust the settings on here to the lowest setting. So we'd probably get at least another three days out of this. So seven, 10 days out of that battery running this thing in and out of it all day so a week safe you're you're good week and you'll probably be charging before a week but uh that is awesome on that battery and that's only 100 amp hour so that is outstanding i love it so seven days on the high setting could get more just off that one battery all right we were as you've seen, we just showed you that it ended in about seven days, but the battery level protection on the unit itself is at level, the highest level. We're gonna, I'm just curious, we're gonna down it to the next level, see how much longer we can get out of it to that level. Then maybe we'll down it to the final level, see what we can get out of that. So on this uh, set power AJ cooler, you just press these two. They come up, it's already on level two, so it's already on level two. So we're gonna go down to level one, see how long we can get out of this. And then we'll just set the power button. There she goes again. So we're going to see what we can get out of this thing on the lowest level protection on this. Plus, remember, the battery has its own low voltage protection. So we'll see what shuts off first. Keep it going. Well, we didn't get much longer out of there after putting it on the low setting. So I'd say safely you're going to get a week, maybe six to seven days, depending on where you have this put at. This is in our RV. But if like you have it in the back of a truck where it's hot or something, or someplace a little warmer it might go you might not get as long but overall that's pretty good off just a battery not being hooked up to anything no charging or nothing so got that error again e1 which just means low voltage but seven days still for us that's pretty good well as you've seen there guys seven days i can't help but be impressed with the technology in these batteries and how long you can get seven days running that compressor cooler uh on a very cold setting for seven days on just this battery, not being hooked up to solar charging or anything, just, just as it sits. So that's pretty impressive if, if you think about it. I mean, if you had this on charge or solar, you're gonna get so much more time out of it, you, you don't even have to worry about it. And then it has its shutoff protection and it, the cold weather or the cold temperature charge protection. 
the 10 year warranty. This battery is an awesome battery, especially if you're just getting into it because of the price point, makes it a good budget friendly battery with some of the higher end features that some of the bigger name batteries have. This has a couple of those that make it worth the, the price. And so far for us, all our tests have been fabulous. We're getting the, the, the time we're supposed to get out of it, the amp hours and everything. We're getting all that out of this battery with no problems. And here we still have our uh, quick connect hooked up here. So we're ready to go. Just plug in next time we want to charge it. So that's another test down. I'm sure we'll have more to come because these things are impressive. If you guys are interested in a Uniwix battery, we'll leave links to this down below. They are a great company. They're a startup out of California, so they're doing good things right now. And this is pretty much their flagship product. So you can tell they're putting a lot of time into their product and uh, time will tell, you know, as we play with it more the longevity of it, but 10 year warranty, they must have some confidence in it, correct? So with that being said, guys, we want to thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, share, subscribe. Hit that thumbs up button so you know next time we post a video because we got lots of them coming out. You never know what it's going to be on. That's the beauty of our channel. A little bit of everything. It might be something you're interested in. It might be something you know somebody who's interested in something. So maybe you can hear the plane or helicopter. But uh, thanks again, guys, for watching. Till next time, try something new.